how is the fitness? The fitness is good. I'm, uh, I'm fitter than I've ever been, fitter than Berlin. Um, I've had training partners this segment, which has been a huge difference for me. Uh, this is actually the first training segment for a marathon where I've had people to run with. Who have so, you been running with? Uh, I've been running a lot with Scott Smith and Ben Bruce um, and then Kellen Taylor. So we've all been kind of the marathon contingent in Flagstaff. Yeah, somebody else said Scott was very fit. He is super fit. Yeah, he's been just crushing it in workouts, uh, just really opening some eyes. And I think he's, he's kind of a dark horse on Saturday that I think his name hasn't really been thrown around a lot, but I think it should definitely be in the conversation. And did they, they all just joined your group, or because you were having success, they wanted to come to the group? Like, how did that come about? Well, we've all been part of the group. Um, you know, Scott lives half the year in Oklahoma City, um, uh, or in Tulsa. His girlfriend is going to medical school there, so he kind of had to make the sacrifice for her to move out there. But he's been part of the group for a couple of years now, and um, Kellen was just focusing on shorter distances until she ran Houston earlier this year, and then had a great race there, obviously. So she's been kind of making that transition. Um, ben was focusing on steeple and shorter races uh, until he started to move up to doing all those rock and roll marathons last year. So it just kind of, everyone was all over the place and this is really the one time that we could all come together and focus on the same event. Um, and hopefully yeah, we'll some see of the, the fruits of that. Greatness of the trials, like, yeah, people kind of, oh, and I dream of making the Olympics, right? That's so they right, get there's ready. only one place you can make yeah. the team and it's here, so. I mean, growing up, did you dream of making the Olympics, or? You know, it really wasn't something that was on my radar for my whole life. It was, uh, I kind of had dreams to be a vet for a long time, and then that transitioned to other stuff. And in college, it was when I, when I first made NCAAs, actually, that I realized I could actually maybe have a future with running. And so that was kind of when I dropped all the other sports I was doing and just focused on running. And uh, I've been trending in the right direction, so hopefully we'll continue to see that on Saturday, and it'll be enough to make the team. Do you worry about the strategy of the race, or do you play it out in your head, or what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I've played it out in my head a million times. I mean, I'm sure we all have. Uh, everyone has a different approach to it, but I'm just going to kind of stay relaxed and, you know, deal with the punches as they come in the race. We're ready for anything, you know, however it might yeah, How's it going to play so. out? Because I'm sick of people asking me. I'm like, <laughs> no, like, that's why they run the race. Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, no one really knows until race day. I think, obviously, the heat is going to be a factor that's been uh, beaten to death by now, but, um, you you know, that's going to be a factor and the turns are going to be you've done anything to prepare for that you go down to phoenix or? uh we've been training in san diego for the last few weeks and and wearing tons of layers getting in the sauna getting in the hot tub you know, doing everything that we can to really make sure that our body's sweat response is there and to make Saturday feel as cool as possible. So has it been cooler in San Diego? What's the weather there? It's been pretty comparable, actually. Maybe a little bit cooler. It's been like mid-80s, so... Um, but you're still wearing much sweats to get... And we're, we look like crazy people out at, you know, training at Lake Miramar, doing, uh, wearing full tights, long socks, jackets, long sleeves, gloves, hats, I mean, the whole nine yards. So uh, we've been really overdoing it intentionally so that Saturday will hopefully feel cool and comfortable. All right, well, good luck. Yeah, Thank you. It.